Hello students, welcome to your favorite at hand classes. In this video we are providing 50 latest and most important current affairs question answers with explanation. These research based questions are very important for all upcoming competitive exams, so watch carefully and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Question 1. In the Gulf of Aden, which Indian Navy warship recently responded to a distress call and successfully rescued a hijacked Iranian fishing vessel, F.V. Amman. A. INS Sumitra. B. INS Vikramaditya. C. INS Chennai. D. INS Virath. The correct answer is A. INS Sumitra. INS Sumitra played a crucial role in responding to a distress call and rescuing the hijacked Iranian fishing vessel, F.V. Iman in the Gulf of Aden during anti-piracy operations. Question 2. Who has taken oath as the new chief minister of Jharkhand? A. Hemant Soren. B. Arjun Munda. C. Champai Soren. D. Dikuram Soren. The correct answer is C. Champai Soren. Senior Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, JMM, leader Champai Soren was sworn in as the new chief minister of Jharkhand, replacing Hemant Soren, who was recently arrested by the Enforcement Directorate, ED, in a case. Question 3. Who has been appointed as the first woman chief secretary of Uttarakhand? A. Radha Rituri. B. Kusum Kandwal. C. Kamini Gupta. D. Gita Khanna. The correct answer is A. Radha Rituri. Radha Rituri, a senior IAS officer of the 1988 batch, has been appointed as the first woman chief secretary of Uttarakhand. She replaces Sukhbir Singh Sandhu and is the first woman to hold this top administrative post in the state. Question 4. Who inaugurated the Today Olas Mela at National Bal Bhawan, New Delhi? A. S. J. Shankar. B. Anurag Thakur. C. Dharmendra Pradhan. D. Jyotiraditya Sindhya. The correct answer is C. Dharmendra Pradhan. Union Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan inaugurated the two day Olas Mela at National Bal Bhawan, Delhi. The Department of School Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education is organizing this program. Question 5. Former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan was sentenced in the illegal use of state gifts for how many years? A. 5 years. B. 7 years. C. 10 years. D. 14 years. The correct answer is D. 14 years. Former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan was sentenced in the illegal use of state gifts for 14 years. Question 6. In the interim budget 2024, which country was revealed as the top recipient of Indian aid? A. Maldives. B. Nepal. C. Myanmar. D. Bhutan. The correct answer is D. Bhutan. Bhutan emerged as the primary beneficiary of Indian aid in the interim budget 2024, receiving rupees 2,300. And 98.97 crores, showcasing India's commitment to supporting its neighboring countries' development initiatives. Question 7. What is the status of income tax slabs or rates in the interim budget 2024 to 2025? A. Increased rates. B. Decreased rates. C. No changes. D. Abolished. The correct answer is C. No changes. There is no change is the status of income tax slabs or rates in the interim budget 2024 to 2025. Question 8. Where is the Shurajkund Mela 2024 taking place? A. Faridabad. B. Jaipur. C. Secunderabad. D. Ahmedabad. The correct answer is A. Faridabad. The Shurajkund Mela 2024, an iconic cultural event, 
is hosted at Shurajkund Mela Ground, Faridabad. As the 37th edition, the event promises an extravagant showcase of art, culture, and heritage, attracting visitors globally. Question 9. Which country is the home country of the two-year-old Carter Dallas, who set the record as the youngest person to reach Mount Everest's base camp? A. Scotland B. Denmark C. Nepal D. England The correct answer is A. Scotland Carter Dallas, the two-year-old who set the record as the youngest person to reach Mount Everest's base camp, hails from Scotland. Accompanied by his parents on an extraordinary journey, Carter's achievement at an altitude of 17,500, and 98 feet above sea level captured global attention. Question 10. In which city is the first Bimstec Aquatics Championship being organized? A. Dhaka. B. Colombo. C. New Delhi. D. Kathmandu. The correct answer is C. New Delhi. Bimstec Aquatics Championships 2024 is being organized in New Delhi. Central Youth Program and Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur inaugurated this championship. The first Bimstec Aquatics Championship is being held from February 6 to February 9, 2024. Question 11. Which contingent won the award for the best marching contingent among CAPF slash other auxiliary forces? A. Sikh Regiment Contingent. B. Delhi Police Women Marching Contingent C. Gujarat Border Security Force Contingent D. Tamil Nadu Naval Contingent The correct answer is B. Delhi Police Women Marching Contingent Delhi Police Women Marching Contingent has won the award for the best marching contingent among CAPF slash other auxiliary forces. Question 12. The presidential election in Russia is scheduled to be held on a. 15 to 17 March 2024. B. 15 to 17 April 2024. C. 15 to 17 May 2024. D. 15 to 17 June 2024. The correct answer is A. 15 to 17 March 2024. The presidential election in Russia is scheduled to be held on 15 to 17 March 2024. Question 13. Who is set to be conferred with the Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award in India, as announced by the Indian government? A. Pranab Mukherjee B. Munmohan Singh C. L. K. Advani D. Atal Bihari Vajpayee The correct answer is C. L. K. Advani L. K. Advani, a prominent figure in Indian politics, has been announced to receive the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian award. This honor recognizes Advani's significant contributions to Indian politics and society, marking his legacy as a statesman, who has played a pivotal role in shaping the BJP and influencing Indian politics and governance. Question 14. Recently, which neurotechnology company has embedded the first computer chip in a human brain? A. Neuralink. B. Kernel. C. BlackRock Neurotech. D. Neurable. The correct answer is A. Neuralink. Neuralink is the first company to implant a computer chip in a human brain. Neuralink is a neurotechnology company founded in 2016 by Musk and seven other scientists and engineers. The company's implant, known as the Link, is a small device that's surgically placed inside the human brain. Question 15. Who has been unanimously appointed for a historic third term as the president of the Asian Cricket Council? A. J. Shah. B. Shariar Khan. C. Nazmal Hassan. D. Sultan Rana. The correct answer is A. J. Shah. J. Shah, the secretary of BCCI, secured a historic third term as the president of the Asian Cricket Council, reflecting his achievements and dynamic leadership during the ACC annual general meeting in Bali. Question 16. The 2024 Australian Open is won by 
A. Janik Sinner B. Novak Djokovic C. Mike Bryan D. Andy Murray The correct answer is A. Janik Sinner The 2024 Australian Open Tennis Tournament, men's single, was won by Italian tennis player Janik Sinner. It was Janik Sinner's first major title. Question 17. Who has been re-elected for a fourth term as president of Comoros? A. Muigni Baraka said soy lahai. B. Margreta Shannon. C. Damina Alexander. D. Azali Asimani. The correct answer is D. Azali Asimani. Comoros President Azali Asimani secured a disputed fourth term with 63% of the vote, prompting opposition allegations of fraud. Despite international observers citing overall fairness, low voter turnout at 16% and protests in the capital underscore the contentious nature of the election. Question 18. Which of the following country joined BRICS on January 1, 2024? A. Argentina. B. Qatar. C. South Korea. D. United Arab Emirates. The correct answer is D. United Arab Emirates. Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, UAE, joined BRICS on 1 January 2024. Question 19. Marigayan, Mary Darahar Program is an initiative of which ministry? A. Ministry of Rural Development. B. Ministry of Agriculture. C. Ministry of Panchayati Raj. D. Ministry of Culture. The correct answer is C. Ministry of Culture. The Ministry of Culture is preparing mapping and documentation of all the villages under the Marijayan, Mary Darahar, MGMD program. Question 20. Where is the Kilo India Winter Games 2024 set to take place? A. Himachal Pradesh. B. Ladakh. C. Uttarakhand. D. Arunachal Pradesh. The correct answer is B. Ladakh. The Kilo India Winter Games 2024, a significant event in the Indian sports calendar, will mark its debut in the Union Territory of Ladakh as a host alongside Jammu Kashmir. Question 21. Who is named as Times Person of the Year 2023? A. Joe Biden. B. Elon Musk. C. Lionel Messi. D. Taylor Swift. The correct answer is D. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is an American singer. She is named as 2023 Person of the Year by The Times Magazine. Question 22. Who was the first Asian to lead a global bank and recently passed away at the age of 76? A. Deepak Parekh. B. Nina Lal Kidway. C. Rana Talwar. D. Lakshmi Middle. The correct answer is C. Rana Talwar. Rana Talwar, the former CEO of Standard Chartered Bank, was the first Asian to head a global bank. His recent demise at the age of 76. Question 23. How many interim budgets will have been presented by the time of the union budget in 2024? A. 10. B. 17. C. 15. D. 20. The correct answer is C. 15. Fifteen interim budgets have been presented by the time of the union budget in 2024. Question 24. In which state assembly was the Uniform Civil Code Bill introduced recently? A. Uttar Pradesh. B. Assam. C. Bihar. D. Uttarakhand. The correct answer is D. Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand CM Pushkar Singh Dami has presented the Uniform Civil Code in the Assembly. This bill will now be sent further to the Governor. After this bill is passed it will become a law. With this, Uttarakhand will become the first state in the country to implement UCC. Question 25. 
which state won the Nagesh Trophy in the men's national T20 cricket tournament for the blind 2023-24. A. Andhra Pradesh B. Maharashtra C. Karnataka D. Tamil Nadu The correct answer is C. Karnataka. Karnataka secured the Nagesh Trophy by triumphing over Andhra Pradesh in the men's national T20 cricket tournament for the blind 2023-24, marking a notable achievement after a 20-year wait for a national title. Please like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel and proceed for the next question. Question 26. Salher Fort, Shivneri Fort and Panhala Fort, recently seen in news, are located in which Indian state? A. Madhya Pradesh B. Maharashtra C. Karnataka D. Rajasthan The correct answer is B. Maharashtra. India has proposed the Maratha Military Landscapes of India for UNESCO World Heritage List recognition in 2024-25. Developed between the 17th and 19th centuries, these military landscapes showcase an exceptional fortification system envisioned by Maratha rulers. Question 27. Which educational institution has launched the Human DNA Bank as part of the Make in India initiative? A. Banaras Hindu University B. Jawaharlal Nehru University C. Delhi University D. Mumbai University the correct answer is A. Banaras Hindu University. Banaras Hindu University, BHU, has taken a significant step in scientific progress by launching the Human DNA Bank as part of the Make in India initiative. This initiative, along with the nearing completion of the Wildlife DNA Bank, showcases BHU's commitment to innovation and indigenous manufacturing using advanced technologies like the automated DNA extractor machine. Question 28. In which state self-balancing electric scooter was launched under smart policing? A. Bihar B. Uttar Pradesh C. Punjab D. Uttarakhand The correct answer is D. Uttarakhand. Recently, Uttarakhand Police has launched a self-balancing electric scooter with the aim of promoting smart policing. For the safety of tourists and local citizens, police in Haridwar will patrol with self-balancing scooters. Question 29. What was the theme of the Ministry of Culture's tableau that secured the first prize at the Republic Day Celebration Parade 2024? A. India, Unity in Diversity. B. Vibrant India. C. India, Mother of Democracy. D. Cultural Harmony. The correct answer is C. India, Mother of Democracy. The theme of IGNCA's Ministry of Culture tableau that secured the first prize at the Republic Day Celebration Parade 2024 was India, Mother of Democracy. The tableau highlighted the blend of tradition and innovation, incorporating the anamorphic technique to showcase India's rich heritage. Question 30. Who recently became the first female subadar in the Indian Army? A. Anjali Gupta. B. Ritu Sharma C. Sonia Yadav D. Preeti Rajak The correct answer is Preeti Rajak. Havildar Preeti Rajak, a skilled trap shooter in the Indian Army, made history by becoming the first female subadar, showcasing her exceptional talent and marking a significant milestone for women in the armed forces. Question 31. Where was the first National Conference on Promotion of Seaweed Cultivation held? A. Kutch B. Vadodara C. Ahmedabad D. Surat The correct answer is A. Kutch. The National Conference on Promotion of Seaweed Cultivation, chaired by the Union Minister of Fisheries in Kochwar, Kutch, Gujarat, showcased diverse seaweed cultivation methods monoline, tube net, and rafts. Question 32. How many air routes are currently being operated in the country under the RCS Uden scheme? A. 319, B. 419, C. 519, D. 619, the correct answer is C. 519. 
So far, 519 air routes are being operated across the country under the Regional Level Air Connectivity Scheme, RCS, Udeshka AAM Nagrik UDAN. Under the Yudin scheme, 76 airports including Tusi airports and 9 heliports are being operated. This scheme was launched in the year 2016. Question 33. What avian influenza virus is suspected to be responsible for the death of a king penguin in the Antarctic? A. H1N1 B. H5N1 C. H7N9 D. H3N2 The correct answer is B. H5N1 the death of a king penguin in the Antarctic is suspected to be caused by the highly contagious H5N1 avian influenza virus, posing concerns about its potential impact on remote penguin populations. Q question 34. Augusta gamma edge, which was seen in the news, belongs to which one of the following species? A. Snake. B. Kangaroo lizard. C. Wolf spider. D. Frog. The correct answer is B, kangaroo lizard. Scientists recently discovered a new kangaroo lizard species, Augusta gamma edge, in the Western Ghats. Named after the edge program, it's the second in the Augusta gamma genus. Found in Kolomavu, Idukki, it belongs to the Agamidi family. Question 35. Who recently assumed the role of chief hydrographer to the government of India? A. Vice Admiral Rajesh Pendarkar. B. Vice Admiral G. Ashok Kumar. C. Vice Admiral Lakan Singh Pathanya. D. Vice Admiral Karambir Singh. The correct answer is C. Vice Admiral Lakan Singh Pathanya. Vice Admiral Lakan Singh Pathanya, commissioned in the executive branch of the Indian Navy in 1990 and a hydrography specialist has recently taken charge as the chief hydrographer to the government of India. Question 36. On which date does the beating retreat ceremony, marking the conclusion of Republic Day celebrations, take place at Vijay Chowk in Delhi? A. January 29th. B. January 26th. C. February 1st. D. January 30th. The correct answer is A, January 29th. The beating retreat ceremony at Vijay Chowk in Delhi, symbolizing the end of Republic Day festivities, occurs on January 29th, featuring captivating Indian military music and paying tribute to India's military heritage. Question 37. Shumang Leela, recently seen in the news, is a traditional form of theater performed in which state? A, Mizoram. B, Sikkim. C. Assam. D. Manipur. The correct answer is D. Manipur. Shumang Leela, a traditional Manipuri theater form, faces challenges due to ethnic violence, impacting its artists and jeopardizing the state's cultural richness. Question 38. What is the retail price of barat rice per kilogram? A. 25 rupees per kilogram. B. 29 rupees per kilogram. C. 32 rupees per kilogram. D. 35 rupees per kilogram. The correct answer is B. RS. 29 slash kg. Barat rice is offered at a retail price of RS. 29 slash kg, aiming to stabilize markets and ensure affordability. Question 39. How much has the central government increased the target of Lakpati Didi Yojana? A. 3 crores. B. 3.5 crores. C. 4 crores. D. 4.5 crores. The correct answer is A. 3 crores. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitarman also made an announcement regarding Lakpati Didi scheme in the interim budget. The government has increased the target of Lakpati Didi scheme under self-help groups. The finance minister said that encouraged by the success of the Lakpati Didi scheme, the government has increased the target of the scheme from 2 rupees crore to 3 rupees crore. 
Question 40. Ungal Ithidi, Ungal Oral, come look for you in your village, scheme, recently seen in the news, is launched by which state? A. Kerala. B. Tamil Nadu. C. Andhra Pradesh. D. Karnataka. The correct answer is B. Tamil Nadu. The government of Tamil Nadu introduces the Ungal Ithidi Ungal Oral Scheme 2024, offering citizens monthly access to state government schemes and scholarships. Question 41. Who is the chairman of Uttarakhand Uniform Civil Code Committee? A. Ranjana Prakash Desai. B. Vinay Rawat. C. Sakshi Kunduri. D. Vimal Saxena. The correct answer is A. Ranjana Prakash Desai. Uttarakhand Uniform Civil Code, UCC, Committee Chairperson Justice Ranjana Prakash Desai along with the committee members submitted the final report of the UCC to Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dami. Question 42. Which neighboring country of India partnered with Russia for developing nuclear power? A. Sri Lanka. B. Nepal. C. Myanmar. D. Bangladesh. The correct answer is C. Myanmar. Myanmar's military led government has inaugurated a nuclear power information center, along with Russia's state atomic energy company. This is seen as a step toward developing atomic power to fill energy shortages in the Southeast Asian nation. Question 43. Where was the foundation stone of the India's first digital national museum of epigraphy laid? A. Hyderabad. B. Patna. C. Varanasi. D. Jaipur. The correct answer is A. Hyderabad. Union Culture Minister G. Kishan Reddy laid the foundation stone of the country's first digital national museum of epigraphy at the Sala Yung Museum in Hyderabad. It is being established by the Archaeological Survey of India. About 1 lakh ancient inscriptions of different languages and periods will be kept in it. Question 44. Where will exercise Vayu Shakti 24 be organized by the Indian Air Force? A. Srinagar. B. Puthankot. C. Jaslamar. D. Indore. The correct answer is C. Jaslamar. The Indian Air Force will organize exercise Vayu Shakti 24 at Pokhran Air to Ground Range near Jaslamar on February 17, 2024. The last edition of exercise Vayu Shakti was conducted on February 16, 2019. Question 45. Who is the author of the book Kashmir, Travels in Paradise on Earth, 2024? A. Ramesh Bhattacharji. B. Shamus Fakir. C. Vikram Seth. D. Jumpa Lahiri. The correct answer is A. Ramesh Bhattacharji. Kashmir, Travels in Paradise on Earth is authored by Ramesh Bhattacharji, an experienced trekker, providing detailed insights into the topography and geography of Kashmir before the onset of militancy. Question 46. In which city will the 67th All India Police Duty Meet be organized? A. Varanasi. B. Jaipur. C. Lucknow. D. Patna. The correct answer is C. Lucknow. The 67th All India Police Duty Meet, AIPDM, will be organized in Lucknow from February 12 to February 16, 2024. This time the meet will be hosted by the Railway Protection Force, RPF. Question 47. Which pharmaceutical company recently secured US FDA approval for marketing Lacosamide tablets, a generic anti-epileptic medication? A. Sun Pharma. B. Cipla. C. Dr. Reddy's Laboratories. D. Zytus Life Sciences. The correct answer is D. Zytus Life Sciences. Zytus Life Sciences received approval from the US FDA to market Lacosamide tablets, a generic anti epileptic medication, showcasing advancements in the pharmaceutical industry. Question 48 
India Energy Week 2024 is being organized in which state? A. Haryana B. Madhya Pradesh C. Goa D. Bihar The correct answer is C. Goa. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the India Energy Week 2024 in Goa, which is an important milestone in the country's commitment to advance the energy sector. India Energy Week 2024 is being organized to reduce carbon footprint and promote green energy sources. Question 49. In which location is HPCL's biomass-based CBG plant located? A. Budon. B. Varanasi. C. Agra. D. Kanpur. The correct answer is A. Budon. HPCL's compressed biogas, CBG, plant, with a processing capacity of 100 mtpd of rice straw and an investment of 133 rupees crore, is located in Budon, Uttar Pradesh. Question 50. Where was the first naturopathy hospital in northeast India inaugurated? A. Dibragar. B. Guwahati. C. Shillong. D. Dispur. The correct answer is A. Dibragar. The first naturopathy hospital in northeast India was inaugurated in Assam, specifically in Dibragar. This event marked a significant step towards promoting holistic healthcare in the region, blending traditional knowledge with modern technology to enhance wellness and medical practices. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to get more latest videos on current affairs and other topics important for various competitive exams.